Hello everyone, I'm Yi Ming Qiu from Rice University. Today I'll be talking about how to understand and improve smart learning offline performance using machine learning techniques. This is a joint work among Rice University, University of Wisconsin Madison, and Rutgers University. Traditionally, network functions are enough residing in host servers, and they are typically written in virtual enough frameworks such as Click. Nowadays, however, we have seen that smart leaks are getting fast popularity in data centers and cloud networks. In fact, now developers have been trying to offload enough into smart leaks in order to save computational resource and energy consumption. Some of the most popular smart leak platforms include Natural Magenu, Miles Bluefield, along with many others. However, offloading a lacks enough running on host servers into smart leak platforms is no easy task. This is because of the vast difference between traditional host servers and smart leaks in many aspects. On the hardware architecture level, how server comes with general purpose x86 cores is familiar cache coherent memory hierarchy. While SmartNix has specialized compute unit with customized hardware accelerators and memory regions. On the runtime and compiler level, how servers come with familiar environment such as Linux OS and LLVM compiler, while SmartNix have limited or even no operating system support and rely on customized compiler tool chains. On the program model level, whole server support general purpose C or C++ along with frameworks such as Click, while SmartNix usually uses C variants without complete libc support. This also indicates that in many cases, whole server enough could not directly run on SmartNix. In other words, a translation plus porting process is often needed. Due to these barriers between whole servers and SmartNix, network developers usually rely on a tedious trial and error process in order to understand and improve the performance of enough offloading. To start with, network developers would like to know what is expected offloading performance before too much efforts are gone into the manual porting process so that they can make decisions on whether the SmartNIC is a good offloading target. Additionally, developers might also want to leave the platform specific tuning opportunities, such as hardware accelerators, specialized compute units, and heterogeneous memory regions with different access latencies. These are also cha all challenging tasks because they require deep domain knowledge on the smart link architecture. So to summarize, due to the vast difference between host server and smart link platforms and the absence of domain expertise, obtaining performance understanding is difficult, but performance tuning is even harder. This has led us to our research question which is whether we could build a tool to analyze offload performance before this manual porting process and automatically suggest smart tuning strategies to improve offloading performance. We have developed a tool called Clara, which aims at providing automated offloading insights as mentioned above. Clara could analyze Lexi enough in their unported form, for instance, an operating click, then achieve cross-platform performance predictions, as well as automatic tuning strategy suggestions. Clara leverages combination of problem analysis and machine learning techniques to generate several types of uh, offloading insights. One of our focus today is on cross-platform performance prediction, which serves as an infrastructure of Clara. Given a lack of code block, performance prediction module aims at predicting the corresponding number of smart instructions after offloading process. Another type of insight we will focus on is acceleration opportunity identification, which tries to identify enough code blocks that could be accelerated by smart accelerators. Apart from those two, Clara could also leverage smart memory characteristics to do memory coalescing and state placement, thus reducing latency caused by memory accesses. Moreover, Clara could also do scale out analysis to predict the best number of cores to use, and enough collocation analysis to figure out which pair of enoughs results in less resource contentions. Due to time constraints, we will not talk about them in details. At a high level, Clara could profile key performance metrics accurately and improve offloading performance significantly by applying learned strategies. We will first talk about the high-level roadmap of cross-platform performance predictions. As we have mentioned, Click programs can't directly run on smart platforms such as Natural Magenu. Moreover, it is also possible that users may not always have easy access to smart platforms. To account for these scenarios, we hope Clara could predict the number of smart instructions after offloading without actually running smart program or using the smart compiler. At first glance, this is a very difficult task because in order to do this, Clara needs to somewhat mimic smart compiler behavior, which is pretty much a black box. 
it is usually hard to understand how smart compiler does instruction selection and optimizations. However, if we assume there exists many clicks to smartic NF pairs, in other words, click NF and their offloaded counterparts, then we could reformulate this task as a learning problem. If we could somehow learn to mimic compiler behavior by observing the NF pairs and their compiled forms, then we could do accurate predictions without knowing much about the compiler heuristics. We notice that there is an analogy between our task and natural language processing or NLP. Essentially, each instruction could be viewed as a word in natural language, or each code block could be viewed as a sentence. The input is a source language. In our case, it is, it is lexic enough. And we are trying to predict the number of words in the target language, in our case, the smart instructions. This could be solved by a machine learning model that could learn from uh, sequential information. For instance, our STM model with fully connected layers. One of the problem remains is how to encode the Lexi program as proper machine learning model input. As a first step, we are compiles Lexi enough into RLVM IR, which is a representation shared by most hosts or NF handlers. Clara then tries to view each RLVM instruction as a distinct word. However, closer look at the RLVM instructions suggests that naively using them as input is infeasible. As shown in the figure, many parts of an instruction, for instance, virtual registers, variables, and constant numbers, could take arbitrary names or values. As a result, the size of the vocabulary could be astronomical. To solve this problem, we first compact the vocabulary size of RLVM using a process that we call instruction abstraction, which abstracts away variable and register details. In this way, we could reduce the vocabulary size to a reasonable range while still reserve key sequential information. We could then transform abstract instructions into standard van Hollen coding and phase them into machine learning models to do accurate predictions. Another challenge we need to solve is the lack of machine learning training data. At a starting point, we don't have dozens of Lexi NL pairs, which is far less than enough if we have to use them as machine learning training input and output. Clara tackles this problem by building a data synthesizer, which will generate thousands of synthesized NL pairs that are similar with real world ones. Clara achieved this by adapting from state of the art random program generator in the program language community and makes sure the output of data synthesizer is representative of real world NF logic. It is then for the translated to a pair of click enough and smart click enough. In this way, Clara generated enough training data for the proposed machine learning techniques. Now we have finished on the part of cross-platform performance predictions. Next, we will talk about how to identify acceleration opportunities within wholesale enough logic. In essence, we want to find which parts of Alexa enough could be accelerated by smart link accelerators, such as CRC hash or RPM lookup. The challenge here is that each acceleration algorithm usually comes with diverse implementations. Take CRC hash as an example. Depending on factors such as padding, polynomials, and checksum wise, CRC implementation could take many different forms. Fortunately, also very different in implementation details, common features usually exist as a result of their logical similarity. For instance, CRC almost always have loop code blocks with many XOR instructions. Clara automatically extracts features that frequently occur in acceleration opportunities that almost never happen in other parts of NAF logic. It then views acceleration as an identification problem and delivers problem analysis and machine learning techniques to accurately identify acceleration opportunities. We have implemented a prototype of Clara and tested against offloading Lex and NAF written in clicks to national Magilio CX smarting platforms. Next, we will showcase some of our evaluation results. To start with, Clara could predict the number of computer instructions when offloaded to SmartNix accurately. We have tested against a set of click elements as well as programs generated by the data synthesizer. The RSTM plus FC model that Clara used also outperformed other tested baselines. Other evaluation results, such as the effectiveness of our data synthesizer, is shown in the paper. Next, we show the performance improvement achieved by identifying acceleration opportunities. Take RPM lookup as an example. A naive offloading solution results in bad performance, which degrades very fast as the number of table rules increase. On the other hand, using smart RPM acceleration primitives to significantly improve and stabilize overall performance. Moreover, our paper also contains an evaluation on the accuracy of the identification model. So to conclude, we have talked about our work on automated smart offloading insights for network functions. 
We talk about our key goals, which are offering performance understanding and tuning. We have shown the system design of Clara and demonstrated some evaluation results on the prototype. Please read our paper on mode implementation evaluation details. Thanks for your attention and open to all questions.